Guy Dawson is the managing member of Classy Communications, a full-service media and marketing company. A seasoned businessman who started his first business at age 12, Guy started Classy Communications to help businesses and organizations improve their bottom lines by leveraging the power of mass media. His firm has worked with a diverse list of clients in real estate, publishing, construction, politics, radio and television broadcasting, network marketing, health and wellness, independent films, digital marketing, and a host of nonprofit organizations. Now let's make some PR connections with your host, Guy Dawson. Hello, everyone, and welcome to PR Connections, the business edition, your solution for business success. My name is Guy Dawson, and I am the managing member of Classy Communications, a media and marketing company. We strive to create massive growth in your business bottom line through mass media marketing. Classy Communications can bring greater recognition to your business or organization with public relations, marketing, publishing, broadcast opportunities, event planning, and more. For a free consultation, please call 702-845-6129 or visit ClassyCommunications.net. PR Connections is a forum where business owners, entrepreneurs, sales professionals, and investors showcase what they do. We share cutting-edge business concepts in public relations, marketing, political activism, investing, and personal development. Our business education series features successful local, national, and international entrepreneurs. Tune in and learn business from the best. This segment of the PR Connections radio show is brought to you by Cartridge World. For the lowest prices in town on ink and toner, visit Nancy Meta at Cartridge World. Call 702-586-0234 or visit their website, cartridgeworld.com slash Henderson. I stopped by Cartridge Ward. You know Nancy. Danny I, Vegas. I know Nancy The marketing for years. guru extraordinaire is back. You know, well, thank you very much for having me back. This is three weeks in a row. You know, I'm about to sign a contract if we keep going. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to start paying you, <laughs> huh, Danny? Oh, well, no, but... man. You, you know me. I work for free. That's, <laughs> that's my, that drives my wife nuts. <laughs> you know, so, but yeah, I appreciate you letting me come on board. And I, yeah, I love I love Nancy, you know, and she does all that Cartridge World. We love that. It's amazing how much, uh, you Ever go in the store and how much cartridge ink costs? You know, I can get a barrel of oil, 55 gallons of oil for like 40 bucks, but it, you know, it cost me $70 for an ink, ink cartridge. I don't get it, but someone's making money. It's an incredible business. <laughs> I had I did an interview with Nancy recently for an article that I wrote about her. By the way, it's in the Las Vegas Informer if you want to read this story. But when I was interviewing her, she was explaining to me the whole racket behind the ink and cartridge and industry and it's basically they design printers deliberately to soak up a lot of ink so they'll sell printers at low costs right so that they get you back on the ink where you get these refillable inks um, so That's her right. business is great for people who particularly business owners who are always taking a look at that bottom line well that ink costs more than the printer yeah the, the printer's like 20 bucks but the ink for it is like 50 bucks Right, it's unreal. Some of these, you know, we could. I mean, I could That's talk a for a long time. But I learned a lot, so much from interviewing her. And if you are someone who wants to save some money on your, on the your, your printing costs, I think that working with business like Cartridge World, where she has it refillable ink, mm -hmm. and the quality is just as good as anything that you'll get in any other. Pl it's other a store. win win, man. I don't know why why anybody buys that stuff brand new. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Well, we're just educating people, and we've got some guys who have valuable items, Ooh. extremely valuable items in the studio today. You know what? Let me tell you something. And this, like I tell my wife, this is not sweet talk. This is real talk. If you're a business and you want to know what to do and the pathway to take to success, these next two gentlemen not only have done it, have done it so well in the last four or five years. I don't even know if it's been four or five years, but uh, close to that. It's amazing. I've watched the whole, we, you and I, we've watched the whole thing from day one to where they are now. This is a college course right here on this show today. Dave and Rich, they are with D&R House of Diamonds. It is one of the most unique jewelry stores that I've ever heard of. And I, like you were saying, Danny, I've known both of these guys for a couple of years and watched them basically start their business from nothing and develop a brand that I think is just 
it just grows in value and it's becoming more and more more known every day. Welcome to the show, you guys. Thank you. Hey, great. Great to be on the show, guy. And I first started hanging out with, with Dave and Rich over at the Large Vision Business Network Mixers. And this was probably, what, probably at least three or four years ago. Yeah, about three years. I think we started, oh, probably in March of 2013. And I think we met you probably just shortly thereafter. Yeah, and I thought, what a great couple of guys. And they had a, a unique expo table there because I had never seen a, a business quite like yours as, as a part of that expo. Yeah, our, our, our whole concept is, is based on trying to keep our overhead very low. So in our showroom, a lot of our product is prototypes. So it gives the client the look, the feel, the touch, everything about it. But there's not a ton of value there because it's typically silver plated in rhodium or platinum with CZs just to give an idea. But that gives us a unique opportunity to carry and travel with that product without any risk. So we do a lot of expos, a lot of events around town, mostly just to, to make people aware of who we are, where we are, and how we function. And Rich, you, you guys have been really a highly motivated pair through this year. I mean, you, got, you talk about being on the grind and really getting out there and exposing the world to your business. How have you been able to do that? How have you able, been able to have such a high front of mind awareness uh, with your business over the, only the few years that you've, you've been operating? Well, um, first of all, pride of ownership is, is amazing. When, when you own something, you just have that drive to succeed. But um, Dave and I, were, uh, they say opposites attract, and we're probably – fit that bill very very well um dave does a lot of the early morning stuff and um networking events and the tip and and other uh venues and i do most of the afternoon so it works really well together where i am in the afternoon and at night and hitting all the uh, uh different venues in town and just networking and we get a lot of business from referrals so um that's been a big part of our business is trying to keep uh, a lot of the marketing down and referral as much as we can and network as much as we can. Right. That was a point you brought up last week, Danny, is that networking is is, is very effective for a business that is budget conscious. That's right. It is, uh, uh, it's the most affordable way to get your message out there. But like anything that's low cost, what does it mean? That means you got to put a lot of time and effort into it, right? You know, hey, if you want to spend a lot of money for a lot of exposure, you can do that. If you don't want to spend any money, it's going to take a long time. These gentlemen can attest they you know you they just didn't go to one networking event and quit it is something they do it's part of their strategy and it has worked out i think as far as networking they're first of mind if you think diamonds you think of these two cats right here there's no doubt about it well there's nothing that that can possibly replace i don't care how catchy sometimes uh an ad might be when you look someone straight in the eye shake their hand and they can get a sense of your essence, your integrity, and who you are, that's all part of that know, like, and trust. And who do we do business with? We, we do business with people we know, we like, and we trust. You can't separate that. Face-to-face -face is, is an incredible way to, to create a brand and to get people to know who you are. Mm -hmm. It's the relationships that, that sure. I've seen the two of you develop through the years. Uh, I think that keeps everyone thinking about you as the front of mind brand when it comes to to jewelry and diamonds in this town absolutely absolutely i think rich uh you know a long time ago we talked to him and i about you know how can we create awareness in the community we talked about guerrilla marketing okay how can we get out there and and, and make things happen and uh so we, we just we love meeting people and getting in front of different audiences. Yeah, we're going to take a short commercial break. And when we come back, I want Dave and Rich to talk more about their their unique, extravagant, luxurious business. I mean, <laughs> when you go and visit this place in downtown Summerlin, you know, these guys are playing at a at a very high level. We'll uh, uh, we're going to take a short commercial break to honor our sponsors. And we'll be back with more of PR Connections, the business edition with Guy Dawson, guest host. Danny Vegas. Whoop, whoop. It's always business and never personal on PR Connections. News Talk, KDWN 720 AM and KDWN.com. And the phone lines are open at 702-257-5396. If you have any questions for Dave and Rich, they are the owners of DNR House of Diamonds or the marketing guru, Danny Vegas. 
Do you need to reclaim your garage or are you looking for a place to store your boat or RV? Rent a storage unit or a lot space at Abco Mini Storages anytime in June, July, or August and receive your first month's rent for just $1. No long-term contracts required. Call 702-564-5425 or visit their website, abcostorage.com, to reserve your space. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was talking about these great classes that, that they're offering for, for entrepreneurs, and it, they're down at City Hall in North Las Vegas, and Crescent Hardy, the congressman, is involved uh, in these classes. He's actually putting these on. It's just an opportunity for would-be entrepreneurs or people who are already in business to to learn more of the fundamental things that will make them more successful. And so I would encourage you all to take advantage of free opportunities like this. They are staggering it. They have a class that's actually running right now. It runs from 8 o'clock to noon, and then they have another set that runs from 4 o'clock to 7 o'clock in the evening so that they can catch people, give them the opportunity at different times in the day to to get this information. But every week they have a different theme. They had a funding uh, one. They had a basic startup for business course. I just think that, that Crescent Hardy is doing some great things down there. Uh, in North Las Vegas uh, at the City Hall. So if you want more information about that, get in contact uh, with me, or you can just head down there to North Las Vegas uh, City Hall and and be a part of that class. It's a high, high-class facility, and it's a great thing for entrepreneurs or would-be entrepreneurs. Good thing for your business to be a part of things like this. And I have been speaking with Dave and Rich with DNR House of Diamonds, and, and, and Danny and I, we've known these guys uh, f- since they got their business started and just watched their uh, their business absolutely explode over the last couple of years. Yes, I, I, I have, and I've been amazed, and it's textbook, and like I said, it should be a, a course. Uh, they, that This story should be part of that class because it's uh, certainly a success story of using networking uh, and laser pointing, other type of marketing that they do. Uh, but man, you know what? They're always out there. The brand is out there all the time. Rich, how did you come up with the theme? I was just talking right before we went to commercial break about how amazing it is when you go to downtown Summerlin and, and visit these guys. They've got this office in the middle of a building, and you you they buzz you in. It's just a where did that theme come? Where did you come up with the concept of doing it that way? Well, when when Dave and I over four years ago decided to do this because um, Dave and I were both managers and we always used to talk about how we could do it better for our customers and and it's kind of kind of ironic that we sat down one day and Dave and I we actually drew up exactly what we have right now on a napkin. We were just sitting at a restaurant talking about how we can make this happen and the whole vision of Dave and and I was. To have these offices, have a have a um, showroom and and a waiting room for customers, and just exactly what we have right now is what we drew up about four years ago, and and um, just for it to come to fruition was just awesome because we started off really really small just to see if the concept would work, and as it grew, um, when downtown Summerlin was opening up, we just took advantage of that and said this is this is where we're gonna draw this out and make our design rooms uh, attached to our showroom with a waiting room and it's 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 a really good experience and Dave I know you have an extensive background in jewelry you've been been selling it for many years is this kind of the culmination of all of these years in this business yeah I mean you you you, you go through a period of time in a career and you know we it's part of what Rich was kind of saying we, we wanted to we we really felt that there was a change a shift in the retail jewelry world. And a lot of it was because of internet. Um, a lot of it was because of economic issues and, and uh, weights that were being put more and more on the mom and pop jewelers, independent jewelers, freestanding stores, mall shops. We kind of wanted to create a bridge between the internet and a traditional jewelry store. Because many, many people love the pricing they see online, but they're afraid to click the button because they don't really know if they know enough to do that. But yet they go into a jewelry shop, and because of the overhead, no disrespect to traditional jewelers, they're out there doing the best they can to make a living, the prices are different. And we wanted to kind of fit somewhere in between where clients could come to us privately, 
professionally, take advantage of our experience, take advantage of our low overhead. Our relationship over the years allowed us to create relationships with diamond wholesalers in Israel that uh, ship us diamonds from anywhere in the world within 24 to 48 hours. And I mean from Dubai, China, Singapore, you name it, we can get it overnight. Uh, primarily the, the two that we work with closely are in Ramat Gan, Israel. So we have the benefit of low overhead, professional experience, and incredible sourcing. You marry all of that, it's a pretty cool concept. And our clients love it when they come to see us. Our feedback is some of the best. Um, our reviews online are some of the best in the city. And um, we love what we do. We truly have a passion. I tell clients every day, I'm not going to try to sell you, but I'm going to interview like hell for the job. And I hope you hire me. And that's what we do. And we, we, we just have a passion for what we do. And our clients become our friends. And we treat them that way every time they're in the store. And you go into DNR House of Diamonds office and you see very impressive plaques that uh, above uh, where Dave sits, and you are an act, you are an actual gemologist. Yeah, well, we're diamond graduates with GIA. We're both uh, highly trained by GIA, which is kind of the Harvard of our industry. And um, we we take what we do seriously. We uh, we didn't learn what we learned just through osmosis. <laughs> we went back and and really did the work and and learned the detail and learned all aspects of how diamonds are cut, how they're graded. Uh, a lot about gemstones, the manufacturing process. It's one thing to design a ring. It's another thing to really understand the process that goes into that manufacturing of that ring. So at the end of the day, the design is gorgeous, but it's functional and it's structurally sound. And that's important because a lot of rings get purchased and clients have problems with them after the fact. And it just becomes kind of a, their beautiful ring becomes a nightmare. And we protect our clients against that using our experience every day. You guys are very personable, and I, I've been in a networking group with Dave for a while, and one of the things that he talks about on a regular basis is that he creates relationships with the people who he, he connects with. How about you, Rich? I mean, I know you're a very personable guy. Do you think that that puts you at an advantage as compared to your competition is you're being very personable? I, I think it um, does uh, – uh, greatly, uh, mainly because if you go into um, a jewelry store, most of the time you're going to work with a sales associate, and that sales associate is trying to sell you something in the store that they already own, and and that's that's what they do. They work on commission. That that's part of what they they are. Dave and I, we we don't think about that. We think about relationship. I tell my guests all the time is, hey, I'm not looking to make a buck off you today and never see you again. I want a life life lifelong relationship. I want you to think of me when you need watch batteries. I want you to think of me when you need appraisals. I want you to think of me when a piece of your jewelry breaks, even if it's not from us. So I, 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 I plant that seed in their head that this is a relationship that we're looking for and that we want them to be we want us to be top of mind for them for any jewelry needs because that's what we do. Yeah, one last plug, you guys. How can people get in contact with you to make a purchase from DNR Diamonds? Well, the best way for clients to get a hold of us is typically just to give us a call or check us out on our website. And our website is D A N D R Diamonds.com. And uh, if they would like to, they can call us directly at 702. 702- Four six five four five two five, and uh, they can set an appointment that way. But if they go to our website, there's a number of places where they can just click a button and book an appointment for any time. Because we primarily work by appointment, doesn't mean we don't take walk-ins. We do, but um, book a time, and we're there for you, and you'll enjoy your experience. I promise. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by, fellas, and we'll be back in a few minutes with more of PR Connection. You are listening to PR Connections, the business edition at News Talk, KDWN 720 AM and KDWN.com. And as always, the phone lines are open at 702-257-5396 if you have any questions for me or marketing guru Danny Vegas. The Business Connections of Nevada Networking Group builds relationships with business owners with the purpose of networking, sharing, inspiration, motivation, and referral leads among its members. To learn more about its weekly connection meetings, visit businessconnectionsnv.com or call 702-839-8586. Speaking of networking, mm-hmm. Danny, you got another event. 
Danny Vegas Live. Yeah, probably about number 196. I know we're getting close to our 200th networking event, you know, and uh, this one's at Kona Grill at the Fashion Show Mall. Make sure you park in the red zone, in the red section of the underground parking. Go up the elevator. It's right in that area. Should be a pretty good time tonight, man. If everything goes right, you know, you never know until you get there. And Kona Grill is supposed to be the really hip hip place in Vegas to go now. Yeah, well, they have two locations. One up there in, in the Summerlin Nation uh, at uh, Boca Park. And then the one here at Town Square. Not Town Square, excuse me, scratch that. Uh, the Fashion Show Mall. And uh, like I said, it's... Uh, uh, we'll see what happens tonight. I'm a little excited about it, and uh, you know, I've done a million of these things, but I always get a little nervous. You just just until people start coming in and stuff. I know I've seen you right before these events, and you're always saying, oh, I don't know if they'll show up or not, but they always do, Danny. You've done a great job, I think, with, with the marketing and the development of, of Danny Vegas Live. People love these events. They do. They love the events. They come to them, and now the show. They're loving the show. So the brand is, uh, is still, uh, I think uh, it's still, after all these years, a very viable marketing source and i you know i look at a lot of things out there i think there's a lot of danny vegas dna out there and all the things going on so everything goes through danny vegas eventually that's what i always say and as a businessman creating something like this how has it benefited your business i mean obviously from a branding point of view you've really established yourself in the in the market here in vegas and as far as ongoing business how is it benefiting you well, I've said to a lot of folks that you, when your brand is a very recognizable brand, that if you get to that point, it does a lot of the work for you. You know, you don't have to work as hard um, because the brand is doing all the work for you. I mean, doing these events, there's a process every month. But it isn't like I'm digging ditches, okay? <laughs> okay, it's kind of like email blast there, email blast there, Facebook here, and then there's a routine. And the brand does most of the work. Uh, and that's how uh, that's how it's helped me. It's to the point where the brand opens up the doors and I just kind of come in. But it took a lot of years to get to that point. And a lot of people just don't have the patience for that. They don't have the patience to go through that. So... And, and what was it like at the beginning? I mean, I know that <laughs> Danny Vegas Live was not this this huge thing when you first got started. First of all, it was uh, – everybody thought I was crazy. <laughs> You're going to take the last name Vegas. Okay, you only lived in this town for how many, five years, right? You're going to take the last name of Vegas. You're going to take this – create a character uh, with a pinstripe suit, and you're going to use this character to market – yourself and other companies yeah good luck with that well uh like the old saying goes we we buried the buried those guys in the backyard a long time ago but it has worked i don't know why maybe i'm at the right age uh but the brand and the name it just worked i don't know if a johnny vegas could work or a sammy vegas i don't know because they're all out there Yeah, there's a name there's a (laughs) vegas attached to every name that's right but uh, as far as uh danny vegas there's even a couple danny vegas you know we had a a danny vegas die i know (laughs) so i was telling danny i got a phone call from d ennis who comes on the show regularly for my my life shots guy and danny vegas is dead (laughs) it was a facebook message yeah, well, basically. And it was another guy named Danny Vegas. Danny Vegas is a, I guess he was kind of a, a singer and songwriter guy, uh, and he was in his 40s. And, you know, I never really met this gentleman. His nickname was Danny Vegas. And uh, when he died, he put it in the RJ Journal, saying goodbye to Danny Vegas. And they stuck that out online. I was sitting there getting dirt from my wife's garden, and my phone just started going crazy. Everybody thought I was dead, but they were calling me to see if I was okay. <laughs> Danny Vegas. <laughs> Danny Vegas is dead? Oh, my God. My phone went, went nuts. And uh, I always thought the joke was, why are people calling me to see if I'm okay when they're reading Yeah, like I'm, you're going to be able to answer. <laughs> if you're dead, you're probably not going to answer the phone. Right. right. But as a brand, Danny Vegas is not dead. We, we're, you know, I, I think the brand has shifted over years it certainly has had different shifts and trying to do and and honestly like we said on wcobm a few a month ago i'm still trying to put this equation together 
that it works the way I, I've always said that Danny Vegas still has not been on eight cylinders since the day it started. Maybe six, six and a half, but I've never had it on eight cylinders before. Running on eight cylinders. I still think there's room for improvement. One of the things that I've seen you do that has enhanced your brand, in my opinion, is these partnerships, like the, the things that you're doing with Las Vegas Woman Magazine. I think that that had a huge impact on the growth of oh, yes. of your events and your, your brand. That's right. The story is, it was four years ago this month, by the way, Las Vegas Women's Magazine and I uh, collaborated as far as a uh, media partnership, and it gave the brand extra instant credibility. I mean, it was, uh, it was used, the brand's been uh, very popular with women from day one, so uh, having them uh, as a media partner is was phenomenal. In fact, I tell other networking groups, find a media partner that can uh, enhance your growth through, because uh, it all comes down to this, more eyes, more buys, right? So more people see your brand and they see it enough and it's backed up by some good stuff, it, it'll, it'll, it'll take root. Yeah, I see that that's definitely been a, a partnership that's worked both ways, though, because of your high profile uh, and they have been a brand that has been wanting to uh, to grow, and so you're both kind of growing together. Well, they are a power brand. I call them a power brand. I, I don't call Danny Vegas a power brand yet. I, I'd like to get there. But when you can literally put 2,000 people in a room with the snap of a finger, uh, that's a power brand in this town. So um, they do a great job, just a great team, and I'm just really lucky that I work with them. I really am. Yeah, there's so much power in partnerships, and so that would be a business basic for someone mm-hmm. out there who's uh, wanting to get in business or already in business is that there's so much that you can uh, do to benefit your brand just by creating good partnerships and, and pairing up with people uh, where you can leverage their talents, mm-hmm. they can leverage your talents. That's basically what, what I'm doing with Beasley Broadcasting and KDWN right. is we're uh, helping each other with this radio show. I'm going to uh, take another commercial break, and we'll come back. Danny and I will talk marketing and, and this event. There's always more things to cover on PR Connections, the business edition. Stay tuned. PR Connections, the business edition, is back at News Talk KDWN 720 AM and KDWN.com. And we would love to take your phone calls at 702-257-5396 if you'd like to talk about getting in business, business networking, or marketing with me or the marketing guru, Danny Vegas. Classy Communications is partnering with Constant Contact, the solution for small business email and social media marketing. We can help you be a better marketer and keep you connected with contacts in your database. Call us at 702-845-6129 for a consultation. And we were on a break, Danny, and we, yeah. were, we were talking about the largest mixer that's right around the corner. Yeah. I the mean, Super it, Bowl of it is. business networking events in Las Vegas. It is the Super Bowl. I mean, it is the... What do they say? Creme la la creme, whatever the heck that means. Uh, Dave Linden, I think this is number 11 or 12 here in Vegas. I can't remember. Uh, but just another great story of someone who started something, stuck with it, fine-tuned it, uh, monetized it, and now Dave Linden is the king. He is the Elvis of Expos, man. Yes, he is. And I, I've been working with Dave Linden for I think three. I've done three largest mixers with him as his uh, public relations firm, as well as done live broadcasts uh-huh. at, at those events. And uh, we, it just seems like it, they get better and better. Yeah. Well, every it, year they get better year. and better. Well, you know what? Uh, it all comes down to, you know, I've done a number of expos myself, and I had some successful expos, and I stopped doing expos basically for health reasons. It was too stressful for me. But I will tell you, it is a, it is extreme challenge not only to sell enough tables to where it's valuable for people coming, but then you have to have people there so it's valuable for the people who bought the tables. And that meter, that stress meter, whoo, honey, it could really, there's some sleepless nights, you know, definitely some sleepless nights. I know there's some, uh, New expos that have started up in the last couple months, and you know they're working hard to do their thing. But yeah, it's Dave Linden has turned that corner, 
uh, and everybody goes to the world's largest mixer. Is it this largest mixer? I don't know if it's world's largest. I got to talk to Dave. Las Vegas is lar- largest. Well, it's mixer. the largest it's mixer, mixer is the name of the company, right. but they call this particular right. event Las Vegas's right. largest mixer. And you can tell how good an expo is when there are companies there that only do that event every year. You don't see them anywhere else, but except for that event, they buy a booth at that event every year. You know. When companies that don't normally do the networking thing buy into an event that's just that for the year, you know it's got to have value. You know they get something from it. So, Dave Linden, hey, hats off to you, man. You're the Elvis of Expos. It's like you said. I mean, the way that this guy has put these together, and the way that they run, and, I mean, the attention to detail, even the event. I love the vendor event. That he does in right. advance. I mean, right. I have gotten some good business, not even the event itself. I mean, I've met a lot of people and done some good business off of the event itself, but just that pre-event. Right, right. Process, process, process. You can tell he's got a team. It's 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 good. You get there. Everybody knows their job. It's people, process, and product. He's got it. Hands down, he is. The Elvis of Expos. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. And I will be having Dave Linden coming through this show prior. It'll be part of the public relations, the build mm-hmm. up to uh, our appearance there. I know that um, a lot of people benefit from the fact that this man has paid such attention to detail and created uh, an event that is it's benefiting a, a lot of business people. Oh, I, I know uh, WCOBM took advantage of that last year. We did a booth last year. That was a great booth, by the way. Right. And, uh, you know, I don't know if they'll do one again this year, but at the same time, it's just a great event. It's at Texas Station again. I mean, he's gone from Texas Station. He did it at the Riviera. You know, I had an event at the Riviera. Now we're like nostalgia kings because we had an event at the Riviera. And now he's going back to Texas Station, I believe. So that's always a a, a good event, plenty of parking there. And uh, right off the – it's just a, I don't know, a quarter mile off the 95. So good, easy to get there. It's going to be great. I think that Dave Linden has figured out his niche. He's figured out what he's good at, which is putting on these events. And when we were off air a second ago, Danny, you were talking about – Danny Vegas Live, the TV show that you're mm-hmm. doing right now, is something that you're you're putting a lot of focus on because you've discovered that that's your thing. Yeah, I, I will tell you, and I'll be quite honest. Um, you know, um, the show on WCOBM to me is something that I should have been doing all along. Um, I love what I do. I love the brand. I love the the events. I love all that stuff. But I'm telling you. If I can make a living doing that show, I would cut everything else out because I feel I'm that good at it. I'm blessed with some talent, and the show is good. And uh, I don't know if I'll ever give up the events because they're so they're so part of the brand. Um, but they will certainly be part of the race car, and I just love it. And I, I just hope that we can get the formula down, just like yourself with all your shows, you know, uh, to uh, to the point where we can pay some light bills with it and stuff. So I love it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's just critical. And the, the the reason why I brought up that point is I think that it is really important to figure out what you're good at. I was having a conversation with Shondell Newsom. He's very uh, prominent businessman here in town, and he was saying that one of the things that he sees with a lot of his marketing clients is they just have not figured out what they're good at. You've got to figure out what it is that you're good at. I I do communication, Mm -hmm. and that's what I do. I don't do anything else other than communication. Now, it took me many years being involved in businesses that I wasn't necessarily good at to discover that. But once I hit on that and figured out the thing that I was good at, it's made my whole journey in business so much better, and I'm producing much more effective products now that right. i figured that out oh i'm the same way i mean i uh you know like i said the brand the business has gone in so many different you know it, it's done this it's tried this but i will tell you i don't know if i'm making as much money as i have in the past but i have never been happier with what danny vegas is doing now uh the events are like we told before, they're kind of streamlined. I they have a process. I go through all my do my two hours. I love it, shaking hands, taking pictures. Um, but the show to me is becoming the center of the universe. And if you're going to deal with Danny Vegas, you're going to be dealing with that show. And uh, I just uh, 
you know, we knock on wood for WCOBM. It's a new company, uh, and it's doing great. Uh, new booth in Salt Lake. So um, I'm. it'll be interesting if for some reason something happened to WCOBM. Could I or would I want to continue on because I love it that much? It'd be interesting. And so for those of you who are out there and maybe you're in business and you're not having that much fun with your business or – if you are someone who is thinking about getting in business, I just I would tell you this one thing. You're tell really it. good at something. Every human being is really good at something. The number one thing that I would recommend that you do is figure out what that is. Before you put your money down to get involved in something, what is it that I enjoy more than anything else? Because when you get involved in something that you enjoy, you'll be able to overcome all the ups and downs that are going to come with you being in business. If you don't have that kind of passion like Danny was talking about a second ago to where he said he didn't even know what he would do, that's – if he wasn't doing his show anymore, that's the kind of passion that you have to have to overcome all the challenges that come with business, and that's where you you will be successful. I absolutely believe that. I, I agree too. I, I and I think about it, and you know, if 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 PR connections, if they just strip that away from you. <laughs> Don't, don't mention that, Danny. I, I, you, you, could, I, you probably couldn't even – you couldn't even get out of bed. Oh. If Danny Vegas yeah. were to go away, yeah. if they someone said, here, Danny, you, you sold Danny Vegas, now you're just not Danny Vegas yeah. anymore, I don't know what would happen. Well, we're near the end of this week's edition of PR Connections, the business edition. Please like us on Facebook. Visit the website, classycommunications.net. Thank you again, Danny, for being right. a co-host. And you take care of yourselves, and I hope that all your business deals – our good ones. See you next week.